On April 20th, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon exploded, causing the worst oil spill in U.S. history. 11 men died, 17 were injured, and the leak released 5 million barrels of oil into the Gulf, causing extensive damage to marine and wildlife habitats, as well as devastating the fishing and tourism industries. On August 4th, a press release stated that 75% of the oil had disappeared. We are going to talk to industry experts, oil executives, and one little lady who has a completely different take on the oil fiasco. Come along as we discover the real truth behind the Gulf oil spill. The oil crisis in the Gulf is finished. 22% of the oil was eaten by small carbon devouring microbes. 32% of the oil was soaked up by penguins. 10% of the oil was carried away by fairies and hobbits. And 1% of the oil was sucked up in my mustache. Hi, I am Michael McMoore, and I am here at the beach to find out the truth of what's really going on with the Gulf oil spill. Hi, are you Daphne White? I sure am, Daphne, W-H-Y-T-E. Why are you holding this fundraiser? I'm holding this fundraiser event to drill me a new hole. The oil spill might be the worst thing to happen to the seagulls, but it's the greatest thing that's happened to my skin. I've tried everything from Clearasol to Proactive, and nothing has worked as great as BP oil and Mother Nature's sea salt. And what does your boyfriend think? My boyfriend loves the fragrant smell. He says that it turns them on even more than working on his car. During these tough times, 90% of women have experienced a loss of sexual arousal. This dry spell epidemic has triggered fits of chronic masturbation and affected late night booty calls all around the nation. Who needs KY when you have 10W40? We're here to scrub you, miss. Thank you. I'm a people cleaner. I clean people. I got this scrub brush here, and I just go on down, and the girls love it. I can scrub them all day. Who could beat my job? Just the other day, I had a couple of bikini girls Woohoo! Why are you supporting Daphne's campaign? I want to open that hole back up just as bad as she does because, to tell you the truth, I used to clean fish. How much does it pay? Ten fifty an hour. That doesn't sound like much. Ah, that's all I can afford. I tell you what, these damn Americans, man, they're always whining. And this journalist, I'd like to drown him in a in a barrel of oil. That, that thing's not on, is it? Do you feel at all responsible for the spill? What do you mean? Well, it happened on your watch. Let me just say one thing. On that day, I was playing golf at Pebble Beach. Don't you feel sorry for the people who lost their jobs? We gave you $20 billion. I mean, find another job. Mother Nature will take care of herself sooner or later. I just want to get on with my life in Russia. What do you think about Daphne White? I like that Daphne girl. She's got a good head on her shoulders. We then went to Daphne White's fundraiser. Hey, thanks everybody for coming out to the fundraiser. This is Daphne White. This is a fundraiser to help her drill a new hole. Give it up! Was the oil spill good or bad for America? I say drill another hole. I made this sign because I really believe in this cause. Hey, I love the oil wrestling on the beach. And don't forget about the dolphins. <laughs> I guess the answer to that question depends on who you ask. All I know is after exhaustive research, I'm no closer to the truth than when I started. It's the worst thing to ever happen in Florida. Like two days ago, I was out there, man, I dropped this gnarly wave and this tar ball just smacked me right in the face, bro. But the story does have a happy ending. Daphne got her hole drilled, became a multimillionaire, and best of all, she now has her own personal people cleaner. The oil spill is a major catastrophe, and the folks at BP have uh, figured out a funny way to spin this thing around and make it not look so bad lately. Uh, just recently, they're telling us that 75% of the oil in the Gulf has evaporated has disappeared, has gone somewhere. I think it's a lot of crap. I think a lot of people in this country and around the world think it's a lot of crap too. Uh, but that's why we started 
BPBlows.com. It's a campaign uh, viewed by people as far as Tokyo and Australia, and the idea is to keep pressure on British Petroleum until every last drop of oil in the Gulf is cleaned up and until they have financially restored all those people that have been affected that make their livings around the Gulf. Bartenders, waitresses, fishermen, a whole barrage of people. They need to do the right thing and BPBlows.com is not going away until they do it.